What's the most fun you've ever had? Most fun that I have ever had. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie Mitchell and today we are doing a Q&A. Let me just pull up the questions. I took a poll on my Instagram and I um, asked them to send me questions and we're gonna go based off of that. I just had it like pulled up, literally. It's like, why do this now? Why couldn't you do this before? Okay, so we're just gonna go right into it and just start with the first couple questions. Thank you for those who did send questions in. Okay, before I even go do all the questions, let me just share some basic information. My name is Melanie Mitchell. My full name is Melanie Emery Mitchell. I am 21 years old. My birthday is August 7th. I am 5'8". I go to... Hmm. I go to Oakwood University and... My favorite color is blue. All right, so the first question is where are you from? And I am from Georgia, but I was born in New Jersey. But my family is from Jamaica, so, you know, Jamaican heritage. Oh, what's the proper way to heal? Good question. Um, honestly, pray. That's what I can say for right now. I'm still learning myself to talk about your heel. Next, your favorite thing about be mm. What's your favorite thing about being to an, I think she went going. What's your favorite thing about going to an HBCU? Okay, my favorite thing is just being around people who are like me. That's the only way I can really put it. People who understand and who are like me. Not the food or anything else. I'm just kidding, but am I? Next question. What is your major and career path? Okay, so my major is health administration and what I wanna do with it, I want to be an administrator at a dermatologist's office or at a birthing center. Next question. What's the most fun you've ever had? Most fun that I have ever had. Is it sad to say that I don't remember? The most fun I've ever had is... That's sad. I don't even remember. Um, I'm sure there'll be more times. Next, favorite cereal. These are like very like weirdly ordered, you know, questions, but bear with me. Very cereal. Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch and that's it. If you like anything else, you're nasty. Okay, good. Next, what's your favorite scent? I can just show you. Honestly, it's right here. Okay, <clears throat> so my favorite scent is the Good Girl Supreme. Sorry. My favorite scent is the Good Girl Supreme by Carolina Herrera. Mm. I have both the good girls, I have the regular good girl, and I have the supreme one. I like the supreme better, but it smells so good. Next, what is the most difficult lesson you learned? Hmm. Ooh, it has to be when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Just believe them. There has been so many times when people would show me how they act and I would just ignore it as, you know, it is what it is, you know, like, that's not it, that they're going through something or I'll make some type of excuse up. When in reality, that's just how they were. And I didn't believe them until it was too late and I was hurt. Yeah, no. Next, what keeps you motivated when you feel drained? Money. Money. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's not your money. Um, it would have to be my future, my career path, my husband, <laughs> my 
to teach your kids, all that stuff. That That's what keeps me motivated. Next question. Do you see yourself married with kids in 10 years? Yes. In 10 years, I'll be 31. I do see myself married. And I don't know how many kids I'd be having around that age, but you know, I would expect probably one, at least by 31. But definitely, I do see myself married within 10 years. Are you in a relationship? No. I'm not in a relationship, nor do I want to be in a relationship right now. This is, yeah. <laughs> I'm done with that right now. What is your advice on relationship? I think I would have to say, don't get in a relationship with somebody based off of potential. Don't think you're gonna have this life. Don't make up a fantasy and expecting them to change, okay? Cause you're gonna get yourself heartbroken. Okay, don't date for potential. Next. <clears throat> Would you rather model professionally or sing? Okay, yeah, definitely model professionally. I can sing really well, but imagine you have to come up with a song every other, nah, mm -mm. Modeling would probably be what I prefer. Favorite Jamaican food? Curry chicken. I love curry chicken. I love it so much. Next, what is your skincare routine? Okay. So I was gonna do a little, a little video on it. Cause right now I feel like my skincare routine is off. Like I ran out of products, I didn't even restock. So I'm not even using everything that I know I can be using. So I could do a whole video on it because I don't really have a set skincare routine right now. I used to, but kind of just went up in the air. Have you ever been to Jamaica? Yes, I have been to Jamaica. And I honestly don't even know how many times, but I, yeah. I definitely do go to Jamaica whenever my family gets a chance to. What is your aspiration in life? Be happy, have a stress-free life. That's my aspiration in life, to have a stress-free life. You know, stress is inevitable, but at the same time, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to allow myself to have less stress as possible, okay? And if that means being a stay-at-home mom, be a stay-at-home wife as well, then I will. Okay, yeah. Next. Has college life improved or gotten worse over your four years? Yes. That wasn't even a yes or no question. Was, sorry, it has definitely gotten worse. <laughs> it's gotten worse. Um, because it's just like, the more I'm in here, the more it's just like, maybe I wanna change my career path. Maybe I'm change my major. And I did change my major. I did change my major. I used to be allied health and now it's um, health administration. And it's just like, I need to get out of here as soon as possible before I have another revelation in my life and I want to change it again. So that's my problem. This is not one of those things. Like you can't just change your major and change your major. You're wasting all your money. So I need to hurry up and get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> Next. <laughs> How to truly love yourself? I love that question. Um, once you realize that you don't need to change for anyone or change to be around anyone, that's how I feel like you truly love yourself. Because, you know, it's, it's easy to want to make other people feel comfortable by trying to change your personality around them. And you just have to remember that you are who you are. And the people in your life either will love it or not. And if they don't love it, then they have to go. Simple. Next. How's college been? How's college been? And what's your plan after college? College has been stressful. I want to go. And what's your plan after college? <laughs> I do want to um, start an internship at the Children's Care Hospital of Atlanta. So I'm going to try to do that. What made you want to start a channel? <laughs> well, um... I've always wanted a YouTube channel, like ever since I was younger and I knew that, you know, you could do YouTube like this, I wanted a YouTube channel. Over the years and I saw the uh, vlogs and the, the maintenance vlogs and the self-care, this stuff, and I was hooked. I was hooked and it made me want to start my YouTube channel based off of that. Next, top three goals in life that you want to achieve. One. Have a strong relationship with God. Two, have a family. Three, be intelligent in every way. Those are my top goals I want to achieve in life. Do you, f 
Do you find people who try to speak with a Jamaican accent annoying? Um, no, I don't. Um, I don't find it annoying. I just, I find it annoying when they try to mock Jamaican people. And the pop, it's not a Jamaican accent, it's called Patwa, not a Jamaican accent. But no, I don't find it annoying. It's just like, okay, I've been sure to someone who was born in Jamaica, like, if I started speaking Patwa, I'm sure it would sound kind of weird to them. But I don't think it'd be annoying. They'd probably just make fun of me. <laughs> can you cook? Yes, I can cook. If so, what is your signature dish? I don't have one, not yet. Like I'm going to be learning how to cook more dishes, of course, but I do not have a signature dish. All right, and the last two, <clears throat> or no, last one. Favorite hairstyle you have had? Oh, dreads, jet black dreads that I had, and they were like all the way down, but very long, very long, I love it. Very, very long, and they were jet black, and they were nice and sleek. That was my favorite hairstyle that I've ever had. Okay guys, well thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, yeah, bye.